in Phantom Menace, you're watching these two Jedi in their prime fight this evil villain. Maul couldn't be more obviously the villain. He's designed to look evil, and he is evil, and he just expresses that from his face all the way out through the type of lights every fights with. What's at stake is really how Anakin's going to turn out, because Qui-Gon is different than the rest of the Jedi, and you get that in the movie, and Qui-Gon is fighting because he knows he's the father that Anakin needs, because Qui-Gon hasn't given up on the fact that Jedi are supposed to actually care and, and love, and that that's not a bad thing. The rest of the Jedi are so detached and they've become so political that they've really lost their way. Mm -hmm. And Yoda starts to see that in the second film. But Qui-Gon is ahead of them all. And that's why he's not part of the council. So he's fighting for Anakin. And that's why it's the duel of the fates. It's the fate of this child. And depending on how this fight goes, Anakin is gonna, his life's gonna be dramatically different. So Qui-Gon loses, of course. So the father figure, because he knew what it meant to take this kid away from his mother when he had an attachment and he's left with Obi-Wan. Obi-Wan trains Anakin at first out of a promise he makes to Qui-Gon, not because he cares about him. When they get Anakin, when they find him on Tatooine, he says, why do I feel like we've found another useless life form? He's comparing Anakin to Jar Jar. Excuse me. And he's saying, this is a waste of our time. Why are we doing this? Why do you see importance in these creatures like Jar Jar Binks and this 10-year-old boy? This is useless. So, He's a brother to Anakin eventually, but he's not a father figure. Mm. That's, that's a failing for Anakin. He doesn't have the, the family that he needs. He loses his mother in the next film. He fails on this promise that he made, mother, I will come back and save you. So he's left completely vulnerable. And Star Wars ultimately is about family. So that moment in that movie, which a lot of people I think diminish into just, oh, just a cool lightsaber fight, but it's, it's everything that the entire three films of the prequels hangs on, is that one particular fight.